to see and test your knowledge. I want to know how many of you can go ahead and tell me who those guys are up over there. Can anyone tell me who those people are? All together? Woody and Buzz. Woody and Buzz, yes. That wasn't all together, but that's okay. Is that Woody and Buzz? Is that I? I love Toy Story. I love that first one. It was the best. I mean, I would tell it all to you, but that would take like an hour and a half for me to tell that story. But now, if you remember, if you've seen that very account, so Buzz Lightyear is that brand new toy that's brought home to Andy's house. He gets it as a gift, and what happens is that Buzz and Woody don't get along, but at the end of the movie, after all of the adventures they've been through, after everything that's there, is that Buzz is welcomed in, and all of a sudden, at the end of the movie, Buzz lifts his foot, and what does it say on the bottom? Do you guys remember? Do you remember? What did it say? It said, Andy. Why did it say Andy on the bottom of Buzz Lightyear's foot? It wasn't his brother, it was the little boy that Buzz Lightyear belonged to. Is that when that boy welcomed Buzz in, is that he placed his name upon him, he placed his mark upon him, that he made him his own. The fact is, is today in our reading, we are going to hear that great news that God, God placed his name on us, is that God made us his own. He placed his name upon. Now, I love that I've done this before, and then everybody's like, do I have one of those? <laughs> Pastor Ebert put that on the bottom of Pastor Ebert's foot. Don't worry. But the fact is, is that at those waters of baptism, God put his name on you. That he said, never will I leave you, never will I forget you, that you are mine. God placed his name on you, that you are his loved son or daughter, that he will never give up on you, never run out on you, that our God has made you his own. But do we always live as we should as those sons and daughters of God? Do we always live in that confidence and that very peace of knowing? That's what we're going to talk about today. That beautiful love of God for us that he has made us his children. And so I invite you guys to please fold your hands, bow your heads, and let's pray to our God. Dear Father, we thank you for making us your own. You placed your name, you placed your name. On, our on our hearts. Help us live, Help us live. With, boldness with boldness and confidence, with peace and assurance, with peace and assurance. Knowing, that knowing that we are your children. Amen.